green is another green is another level of of just not wasting things. I was fortunate enough to know all my grandparents um, in my lifetime, and they all came up during the Great Depression, and they they saved things and they reused things. And I grew up that way. My grandfather said to me several times, "If it if it casts a shadow, it's worth fixing." I had interest in finding alternatives to uh, running our cars on oil and providing energy security. During that time, I met Rob Master Polito. We started talking about uh, diesels and their ability to run on vegetable oil. He said, you know, you can run a diesel engine off of vegetable oil. And I said, well, it's fantastic, but they run fine on diesel fuel. You know, what do you want me to do? And then, you know, he pointed out that it's a waste product. You could basically burn something that people don't need anymore in your car. And it's like, of course, it's a no brainer. I thought that was a pretty neat idea, so I bought an old 1983 Mercedes-Benz, uh, quite a rust bucket, and uh, converted it. Bought a kit online uh, that allowed me to run it on straight vegetable oil, and Rob and I went out and looked for grease to supply, you know, supply me with fuel. This entire concept, this entire company, the entire reason why any of us are here is because I wanted to burn this in my car. Waste Oil Recyclers collects oil from restaurants in Pennsylvania and Philadelphia ships that to biodiesel manufacturers in western Pennsylvania and assures that that uh, biodiesel then gets used by the customers that generated the oil in the first place. We have five collection trucks um, that are used primarily for uh, picking up oil from customers' restaurants. Uh, we also have three service trucks that are um, used in dropping off containment, whether they're dumpsters or barrels, or use them for cleaning things up. Our customers include um, locations like Citizens Bank Park, Lincoln Financial Field, Wells Fargo Center, uh, Victory Brewing Company, a um, majority of universities in our service territory, and a lot of mom and pop restaurants that have been in business for you know, 20 or 30 years, like Jimmy John's, The Whip Tavern. We have 12, 13 drivers here, um, pretty much go about their day uh, with an automated system where uh, they use their smartphone and it gives them their stops. They know where to go, they know where they're going next, and enter their data that way so it's, it's live and uh, it allows us to service the customers down to the minute basically. When a customer calls us, someone picks up the phone, there's no answering machine or call back days later. At the end of the day, we're a reliable service that really takes care of their customers, really cares about their customers' needs, and we recycle the cooking oil into biofuel. And in that way it completes the whole life cycle of that material, from waste through processing and then back into fuel again.